find a woman, woman, woman in every way. Yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day. Yeah, yeah. Are you in Welcome every to Every Way Woman. Woman. There are some major changes happening in the talk show world. Live from Los Angeles, here's Every Way Woman. Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So I was talking with our producer, Yolanda, the other day, and she was saying to me, it is so hard to be a woman. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I, and what, yeah, I see it all over your face. <laughs> but, I mean, okay, so yeah, it might be hard uh, to look like this, yeah. Miss Anna's new uh, cover. This woo! takes, how many, hours, how many hours did it take you to look like this? Well, because I did it, and I do makeup, so it was quick. <laughs> but my, my whole, you know, opinion about it is look at my face like mm -hmm. women have to put on makeup i mean i don't know how long it takes you guys sometimes um, it takes a woman to get ready in two hours well for me I mean, you know i'm just an eyeliner kind of person so it yeah. takes me two minutes but, yeah, but, beautiful but, face. but there's all these expectations of women generally in our culture to not only maintain our faces <laughs> and our hair and our nails and our skin mm. that that's a lot of work and it's expensive it yes is. um but i think it, yes you're absolutely right and then there's on top of that, which is self care. Then mm -hmm. there's care for the family if you have kids, and there's mm -hmm. care for your parents if you know if you have parents that need mm -hmm. taken care of. Then there's care for the husband or boyfriend if you're married or dating someone. So you gotta be the caretaker and look good. Mm -hmm. Well, in fact, that's a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> and if you are caring for someone and they want you to look good while right. you're caring for them, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I, I actually dated a young man mm -hmm. once. Very briefly, I might add, um, he, because <laughs> a briefly, briefly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's intentional because he basically, he communicated, after we've been dating a few months, he communicated what he was looking for in a wife. Wow. Now, one of the reasons he was attracted to me was because, you know, I'm, I'm educated, I'm intelligent, you know, I have multiple graduate degrees. That's some, that is something that drew him to me. Mm -hmm. And then when he turned around and told me what his expectations were with, for his wife, um, he basically wanted the madman treatment. I mean, he specifically said, I want her to greet me with a drink when I come home. Wow. Um, we, went to a, we went to a function and his friend's wife brought the husband a plate. Wow, look at such and such. It, would be, it sure would be nice if I could get a plate. And so he wanted, and he let me know that his plan for housework included gardening and cars. Okay, what's wrong with that, that, the bringing the plate though? Well, you know what? I, I don't have a problem with it because, quite frankly, I will fix my man a plate, no mm -hmm. problem. But the way he it was, was looking for it, there was the an expectation, it. and mm -hmm. it was the servitude, the, the level of servitude he was expecting because mm -hmm. it's that built in with everything else. And right. I think that's part of what's happening now in society as well is that men want us to be everything mm -hmm. because yeah. and because they're like wow wow you can you say you can be everything be everything go out Super and work woman. get a career yeah. be and, a mom and by the way you that. won't have any Wait time me, to have sleep ready. because mm -hmm. you, there's just no time in the day to do it all and it's hard mm -hmm. to do it all mm -hmm. do you guys sleep the mom, you don't the mom you know what i try to sleep like i got on my husband i said look man you want me to cook you want me to clean wash these kids and then do it to you mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> that's a whole <laughs> lot that is all like you know sometimes like that commercial i do be like i need no i got a migraine baby not tonight all right but you know what though and you got to do it with a smile on your face right. 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 yeah okay well we're kind of on the topic is it true that married couples like, schedule sex yes you yes know? sometimes like, oh, when you yeah, have kids yeah. when you have kids okay yeah. do you, you like you do have to my my say thursday like thursday you know what thursday and nine <laughs> and you just hope something happens. Right. She's yeah, like, she's like, like or you can I'm like, I started dating someone regularly now, oh. and he has kids too, and I have kids, so we're oh, only we can only see each other every other weekend. You know what I do every other weekend, right? <laughs> you should have your butt. I don't want to know. You should have your butt. I don't, like, don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. I don't want to know. It takes a lot of work. I mean, you don't have kids, and you even have difficulty. Like, you don't sleep. I don't sleep at all. See, you don't sleep. That's why I was I asking you. Do you guys sleep? Because yeah. you know the whole thing of perception that for me. To have children in a family, I think mm -hmm. being Latino, like one day I would want that mm -hmm. now, but growing up, I never did. Mm -hmm. I never did. I mean, you can ask me when the people that knew me when I was eight but, years but, old. Like, why, no why even older. like were you thinking no? Because it was just too much I work. Had, you know, I grew up in church, so I literally uh, was a missionary. 
Oh, oh wow. So. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of work. <laughs> no, yeah, sure. my, my <laughs> not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> but my whole, focus, my whole focus was, you know, just uh, religion, church, you know, stuff mm-hmm. like just God, you know. And I'm not saying that I lost God already. Mm-hmm. Like, no. Yeah, no, no, I, no. I, I, think right. you know, yeah. I think that you were being true to yourself. And sometimes mm-hmm. women have pressure to have children and have a family. I agree that we, we can have that pressure put on us. You know what get on my nerves, though? What get on my nerves is the fact that I'm sleeping on the couch and my kids, they know, like, because they come to work with me, they know mommy is sleeping. And they're like, ah, boom, 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 boom. And I'm up here like, oh, trying to sleep. And then my husband can sleep on the couch. Yeah. And, and they don't silent. bother him. They don't yeah. bother him. He's well, just slobbing at the mouth. Nobody bothers him. But me, I get bothered with. I get told with. I'm taking you to work. I get you ice cream. And then all of a sudden, I'm still being harassed. Mom. But, but Cheryl, what about you? It's exhausting. Like, I mean, do, are you exhausted? Uh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, the, the hours I with work. Multiple degrees? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I, that's you know, I sleep, I sleep now more than I'm finished with school, thankfully. <laughs> mm-hmm. But no, the hours I work, you know, I mean, I have to be at work at 7.30. And even though I leave at 5.30, you know, there's so much that I carry with me because mm. a big part of what I do is solving people's problems. Wow. You know, that's not something you can just shut off at 5.30. Mm-hmm. And so that combined with, you know, life yeah. in general... Yeah. You know, I think well, you can solve have... the world problems on a treadmill. That's what I try and do. We'll continue the conversation when I come back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. that's actually a good we'll place to back think. Back. Yeah. Very good place. Put on makeup as therapy. We'll be back with Everyday Fitness. Are you in every way, woman? All right, if you're enjoying this just as much as I am, then stay with us. We're going to be talking about morning yoga right here on Every Way Woman. Madison is here to help you get your morning started right with a perfect yoga routine. So uh, what do I need to do? Because I definitely feel like I wake up and I'm go, 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 Mm -hmm. and then I'm just like tired and stressed out. So what do I need to do to start my morning off right? Okay, well, we're going to start with a yoga in a chair, having a seat. You're sitting down just before you eat breakfast, and you haven't quite moved your body just yet. Okay. Okay. All, All right. So go. we're gonna sit again at the edge of the edge of the chair, and okay. engage the core. I started relaxing. Yes, I can't you're do already that. you're already <laughs> relaxing, meditating, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is interlace the fingers, and as you inhale, look up. Good. As you exhale, we're gonna open up the hands and reach for the toes. No, not everyone can reach for those toes. That's okay. You don't have to touch them. Just reach for them. Good. Okay. Pull the lower belly in. Let the head and arms hang and roll on up until your shoulders that feels are really good. Yeah. Oh, until your okay. shoulders are over your hips and fingertips up. It exhale. Open up the hands and again reach for the toes. Let's go. Let's try to reach for those toes. Good. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Roll up. Reach up. How many times do you exhale, do this? Reach for the toes. About three or four times. Okay. Just enough to get your breath settled and getting into your body. And inhale, we're going to take the hands up and then the hands to the heart. So we always bring the hands to the heart, and that kind of just reminds us to move the day with gratitude. So when you have gratitude in your heart, it really opens up your energy and brightens up your energy. Okay? That's beautiful. <laughs> that really is. So we're going to take the right foot out, and we're going to stick it out, toes okay. up. Okay. Be careful of, of hyperextending the knee. So what you want to do is put a slight bend in the knee, and you'll find that it opens up the lower back. Okay. Okay, so we're going to exhale. We're going to roll forward and reach towards the toes or past the toes where, wherever it is that you go. And you'll find that. I'm close, I'm close. Yes. But what if, I mean, some people really couldn't even do this bend, right? Well, that's so, okay. You can use your hand on your knee. You can put your hand on the floor. But you want to think about reaching the top of the head towards the toes and keeping a slight bend in the back of the knee so that the lower so back that. opens up. Okay. And are you keeping the back flat? Is that really important? No, it isn't. Okay. It, it's more of just, it's more natural. Okay. You know, you're not really working something out really hard. So you want to focus about getting into your breath and thinking about lengthening. Okay, we're going to roll up. I'm going to be six feet tall any day now. Good, roll it up. And we're going to switch to the other side just to make it even, okay? Okay. But we're just going to take a couple breaths here. Otherwise, you'd be lopsided. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Tiny bend in the knee. Exhale, go ahead and take that reach forward. Again, you can reach past the foot, towards the foot. You can use your hand on your knee for support. 
and you want to have just the tiniest bend. So you can lengthen your leg a little bit more, and you're probably going to feel that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where should I feel it? Um, most of the people will feel it here behind the back of the leg mm -hmm. or into the calf. And if you have a really tight lower back, sometimes you'll feel it here in the lower back. So what a lot of people don't know is the lower back and the hamstrings are like an old married couple. <laughs> they're like they go together everywhere, but they're always fighting with each other. <laughs> so There's if a one's, lot of fighting if one's going grumpy, on and one's grumpy. <laughs> a lot of grumpiness okay. back there. Good. So we're gonna come on up. Pull the lower belly in and roll it up. Go ahead and bring that foot back in. So that's one way to go ahead and get the day started. Another thing you might want to do is get a nice rotation in the spine. So we're going to inhale, take the arms up. Take that right hand behind the chair, left hand just on the outside of that right thigh. Could lift the chest up. Okay. All just right. for a breath. And we're going to finish off with the other side. Now, can you hurt your back doing this? Um, you can if you take that chair and you crank your spine around. Like it's really just, just there for support. Okay. And you want to think about lifting that chest up. So you're the not like pulling yourself with this arm. No, you're not. You're just supporting okay. yourself. Okay. Good. We're going to release. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Come to that other side. Good. Lower belly pulled in. Lift your chest up. Okay. Relax and your shoulders. Is this mostly to just get the blood going and flowing? Or what, what, what are you trying to accomplish? Um, yeah, you want to get the blood flowing. You want to move that breath through your body, kind of feel where you are in that body. And then we're going to finish. Inhale, lift up. Take the hands to your chest. And we're going to remember to move through the day with gratitude. With gratitude. Mm -hmm. I'm so thankful. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things to be thankful yes, for. Yes, there are. Okay. Oh, so routine. you just do a little pause there and just, is it a good time to think about your day or is it better to like just clear your mind and not think about anything? No, it's a, it's a great time to go ahead and meditate and where you're going to take your day into. Okay. Yeah. So that is a perfect routine because I really, I felt a lot looser already mm -hmm. and, and that's the whole point of it, right? Yes, it is. So do you have anything in particular that you like to work on? Well, you know, I definitely find in the morning I need to stretch this area out and mm -hmm. it's the hardest area for me to stretch out. What do I do? Okay. So there's a couple of things that you can do that's really simple. Really quick, because I only got two minutes here, or two seconds here. We'll catch it on the next time. Okay, how about that? Because I really need to concentrate on that. Okay. But I think we have a great routine here where you can wake up in the morning. It's not too strenuous, but you can really just relax and, and think about your day. And I loved how you were like thinking about what to be grateful for. And we're grateful for you watching, Every Way Woman. There's more to come with Every Way Woman. Are you in every way, woman? Tequila for breakfast. Mangie Rios is coming up next with her favorite French toast recipe. For bringing the bar home. We have Mangie here from 88 Tequila that's going to show us some simple, easy recipes you can do at home. I'm so excited. But, okay, 88 Tequila here with orange juice. Girl, I know there has to be a story. Yeah. Yeah. What, you want to know what? how we went from tequila to breakfast? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. So from all the different types of tequila, Añejo has the most flavor. We wanted to make sure that we took that and incorporated some other flavors into it that people could enjoy that's different from your typical lime and salt. Everybody does lime and salt, but why not play around with breakfast? Who doesn't enjoy breakfast? It's the most important meal of the day. <laughs> True. But the question is, do you actually drink this for breakfast? Can you? I would, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you could. You could to each his own. So <laughs> definitely. Please show us how. Okay. So there's two different ways you can do the French toast. One is as a shot and one is at a, as a cocktail. Oh. So the shot is a shot of Añejo. So we can pour one more here if you like. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so you that's it how good here. it smells. Mm -hmm. Does it matter how much, or do you actually fill it up? I would go with the full shot. Why not? <laughs> that's my. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you've got your shot. Then you're gonna grab a wedge oh. of orange. Do I do one too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a wedge of orange, and then what, you're going. But does it matter what kind of oranges? Um, not really. We've actually done it with regular oranges. We've done it with blood oranges. So. You can pretty much do it with whatever you prefer, but these are probably the best to go with. These are the ones that are in okay. our recipe. So you can dip one side in the sugar. Okay, girl, what is that? 
this whole thing <laughs> what is this <laughs> um it's it's more for rimming glasses for different bars setups and things like that this one you can pick up at total wine it. and more anywhere um, okay but it's great for getting different things on the rim of your glass or doing things like this where you can incorporate fruit and seasonings to your oh so, okay 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 so you got sugar on one side and then you want some cinnamon on the other side and just shake it off because I don't think you want too much or it's going to get a little spice when you try it. So then let me try it too. So like one side like this mm -hmm. and then one side like this. Oh, yes. this is interesting. And you can also pre-mix the sugar with the cinnamon. Okay. Completely up to you. I just did it this way because it was simpler. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the shot. And oh, then no. <laughs> You're this in. is why I have Cheryl here with me. <laughs> so you take the shot, and then you try the orange, and it's going to give you a fresh oh. toast flavor with a kick. How is it? Isn't that good? So different from the lime and salt. I have a question, though. Is there something that you can substitute the cinnamon with if you don't like cinnamon? Because I'm not a big cinnamon person, but is that what makes it like breakfast? Uh, the cinnamon is kind of what makes it the French okay. toast, but you can definitely incorporate other things. We do a lot of different things with fruit. Let's say if you want to spice it up, you could do the orange slice with some tahin. Tahin Ooh, is really big that. right yeah. now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and tahin's got so many flavors. You could do that and do a shot. Who thought of this? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hear this story. I, How did I, you think of this? I've never been big on drinking straight liquor. I, okay. I'll do it because oh, it's yeah. in the moment. Just from the, yeah. Because you have you to know. be taking sips, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so I needed something else. And I'm so not a fan of like a tangy lime. I needed something sweet. So the orange was the route for me. Okay. Awesome. So then you, that's the first one. Okay. So let's do the second one. So now we're going to make it as a drink. So we're going to rim our glass first. So we have some lime juice in here. You're just going to dip a little bit. Does it have to be lime juice or can I use like a real lime juice? Or is you it could real squeeze, lime juice? It, is, it, it is real it. lime juice. It's just you could squeeze an actual lime yeah, into like it on the, or you okay. can buy it pre-concentrated. Pre and then you're just going to kind of twist it around here to get some sugar. And then you're going to twist in here a little bit. And just dab it because you got a lot of cinnamon in there. Now okay. you've got your Wait rim. for me. Go just ahead. <laughs> so you do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you do this. Okay. All right. Well, see, you did better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we're going to get a little bit of ice. Okay. And then what? And then we're going to get some orange juice. I'm just guesstimating, but you probably want to go with about like three ounces, depending on the size of your glass. Okay. And then we're going to take a shot. Pour that in there. Shot. And a slice of orange for extra flavor. And you and thought of this too, right? Well, it was another way to incorporate it, yes. <laughs> I love it. I All love right. it. Well, your mm -hmm. taster. <laughs> I will remember my lines after. <laughs> Is it good? Well, girl, cheers to that. We'll be back with more tips. Coming up next, more Every Way Woman. Are you an every way woman? Part of being an every way woman is being able to do it yourself. We got our favorite DIY expert here with us today, Yelena, showing us a few great tips on how to pretty up our houses. Well, simple ideas. Again, you could go to the oops department of Home Depot. If you have What's the oops department? It's where people color, try to customize the color that they want and it doesn't come out quite right. So they have to, instead of throwing it away, they put it off to the side to where it is just that color. So you can add some tints to it or just buy as is for whatever that price point is, which is a lot less than what typically the gallons go for. Perfect, so, I like yeah. to do things on the cheap. Yeah. So simple things you can do things laying around the house. You have clear bottles. Mm -hmm. You could just 
fill it here with some paint, swoosh it around. Um, you could fill it to where it's like a nice solid paint color. Like so this. this was clear. This was clear. And then all I did in here it is looks just like you just bought it right off the shelf. Exactly. And it gives that nice sheen. The reason you want to do it on the inside versus the outside because it still gives that glass this nice sheen without making it dull looking. And like that's you've awesome. done on this mm -hmm. vase as well. Exactly. And tell us about these flowers. These flowers are just simple flowers that, you know, I found over at a uh, Goodwill. Um, nothing too fancy, nothing too expensive, and you just toss it into the ma uh, freshly but made But much made. cheaper than keeping fresh florals in the house. Exactly, much cheaper. You do have to dust them every now and again, but you could switch them from vase to vase, and it creates a nice floral impact. Thanks for keeping us chic and on the DIY. No for problem. more great tips, check out everywaywoman.com. We'll be right back. Everyway Woman gives back to the community. Go to everywaywoman.com to find out how you can match our donations of undergarments for needy kids. Thanks for getting to know Everyway Woman. I'm an everyday woman, 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 in every way, yeah, yeah. I'm living my life, 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 living day by day, yeah, yeah. Are you in every way, woman? 